All right, this lesson is going to show you how to download uh, or I guess extract and install the Left 4 Dead models into your Half-Life 2 game. And um, if this is successful, we'll do Left 4 Dead 2 also to give us the additional assets. So this is going to give you all the models from that game. So all the cars and beds and everything that was in that game. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download the file. It's 718 megs or something like that. It's a fairly large file. Um, it's in the assignment. It's linked in here. So you'll want to hold down control, click on it, and it's going to download it. You'll get a little window in your browser like I did here. Here's the file down here at the bottom. It downloaded. So I've already downloaded it. Depending on your internet speed, it may or may not you know, be quick. But um, mine took, I don't know, two or three minutes here at school. So when you're done, you're going to have this file right here, the L4D files. And it'll have a little zipper on the folder indicating to you that it's a compressed or zipped folder. Um, it probably will default down into your downloads folder. I've put mine on my desktop. But, um, you know, yours may be in your download folder. It's, you know, like this one is right here. It's hard to say. It's... Um, you know, wherever you download it, go there, all right, after you download it. Once you do, once you get the file, you're going to right click on it, and you're going to go to extract all. You're going to get a little menu that looks like this. You're going to click extract, and then it's going to start extracting. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel it because I've already done it. All right, but you're going to give it a couple minutes. It's going to take a few minutes to extract all the files. So it's going to create a new folder that's no longer compressed. So you're going to have a compressed one and then you're going to have another one. So I've already done it. So let me go to where I've done this at. All right. So here's my compressed folder. I right clicked on it. I did an extract all and that gave me this folder right here. So this is the decompressed folder. You'll notice it's quite a bit bigger. It's about twice as large. All right. So I'm going to open that up and inside there you should see particles, models and materials these three right here. These are all the models and assets from inside of Left 4 Dead. So we need to put those into our Half-Life game. <coughs> so let's, um, let's go ahead and move this window off to the side. And let's go to our file explorer. And we're going to navigate to where our Half-Life installation files are at. So we're going to go to our PC, local disk C, program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Half-Life 2, HL2. All right. Now this isn't my actual installation. Um, I've moved my Steam files. So, but this is the correct path for you to follow. Um, with the, there are gonna, there's a few students. I think Emily, her installation is in an odd place, um, but we, we're looking for our Half-Life Two installation folder. Okay, now normally it's going to be in your local disk C program files x86 Steam Steam apps common Half-Life Two HL Two. That's where it should be. All right. Um, if it's not there, we'll have to search and try to find it. Now, what it should look like inside that folder is this right here. So I'm inside my HL2 folder. I've got bin, config, download list, expression, maps, materials, media. So compare your folder to this. This is what it should look like or pretty close to this right here. OK. Um, this is where we want to take those files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this window over here. These are the Left 4 Dead files. So I'm going to grab these three folders. I'm going to drag them. And I'm going to drop them into this part down here somewhere. Do not, don't drop them into one of these folders. If you do that, um, what's going to happen is it's going to put those models into the wrong folder and the game won't be able to find them. So you want to drop them into this white space here or, you know, over here somewhere. But if you drop it onto one of these, 
the game won't be able to find the model. So be really careful when you drag these files over that you're not dropping them into. See, see how it says move to maps? So if I put this right here and I release my mouse, it's going to drop all the models from Left 4 Dead into the maps folder. I don't want to do that. I want to move them to the HL2 folder. See how it says move to HL2? So make sure you're dropping it like in this white space over here and you're not accidentally dropping it into one of the other folders. All right. Now I'm not going to do it because I've already done it and I'm going to get a bunch of do you want to overwrite the file or not. Um, it's going to take a few minutes to copy it. This is 1.45 gigs of models. Once you're done, once the file transfer is complete, open up Hammer. Okay. Open your map. And for me, the easiest way to tell that it worked is look at my default texture. It's the Left 4 Dead pills advertisement for those little energy pills that you take in the game. It says pills here. If you see this, you know that the models have successfully transferred over. If you don't see this, um, try it again. It doesn't hurt anything to just follow the steps that I did again. But you have to follow the steps exactly the way I have them laid out. Um, otherwise the models end up somewhere else they'll be inside your folder but they won't work all right so that's it for today make sure you give me a screenshot on your progress before you leave for the end of the day and um, today's Friday so have a nice weekend